to the side that suffered a 5-0 loss at Miami last weekend. Even more possession-based here for Oscar Perea. Let them gain control of this match. Stay balanced, pick and choose your moments, and let's see that wide-open, electrifying football. Captain Robin Janssen at his side, ready to go, looking to get off the mark offensively in 2024. And we are underway at Enter and Co Stadium in Orlando, Florida. Orlando City in those legacy kits going from right to left. And quickly, an interception by Santos driving forward. McGuire slots it home. And in a matter of just seconds, Orlando City have gotten off the mark. They didn't have to wait long tonight. What a statement right out of the shoot from the Lions. Are you kidding me with this start by Orlando City? Self-inflicting wounds is what has been the main cause of Orlando City's demise. Gulo trying to bring it down on the near side. We expected to see a little bit of a different looking attack. Uh-oh, here's a problem for Galese. Pookie, he slides it home. And Minnesota United have answered on a takeaway of their own. We are not four minutes into this match, and we are level at 1-1. Fireworks here in Orlando. Decent ball for Hoffa Santos. Too nonchalant from Pedro Galese. Temu Pookie, he's not a world beater when it comes to... You got Temu Puki, who up top is going to help push him. And some quality guys underneath. Enrique trying to find Maguire. Trap was able to break up the play just enough. And it's covered by St. Clair. But another giveaway by Minnesota United in their own third. Angulo with some nifty footwork in the middle of the park. But now loses out on a good tackle from Trap. And how about Song Bin putting it right around Santos. And he tries to test the keeper. Galese able to keep it from crossing the line. This free kick for Orlando City, 33rd minute. Oh, hey, that drives it in. Over the hands of St. Clair, and then headed over the bar on the bounce. Rosales, load once again. Puki, Puki turning, firing, and perfectly finishing. This is where Orlando City struggles when they go with these two midfielders, or lack thereof, because of one of the players that had just come on. Separation is perfect enough for the striker. With two goals for the Loons. And now Taylor sliding it up the right-hand side for Sung Bin, who scoops it in. Puki looking for a hat trick. He puts it over the bar. He felt it was deflected, but it will be a goal kick. Two minutes of stoppage time gone here to close out the first half. Thor Halson surveying his options as he tiptoes into the penalty area. Puts it across. Oh, and it was right at the doorstep. Orlando City and Felipe absolutely bemused. How? But you've got the ability on the wings. If you're Minnesota, do you want to maintain this constant presence that has given you the 2-1 lead? Here's Felipe. He finds McGuire and a save by St. Clair to deny Ojeda. Two fantastic chances for Orlando City to level the match. Headed away and out for a throw in. And there's the halftime whistle. Orlando City opened up with a goal within the first 15 seconds of this match for McGuire. And with that, the second half is underway. The Lions and the Loons, Orlando City. The win probability, boy, is it fluctuated through the course of this match. Duncan McGuire going to see if he can match Pookie with a brace. Brings up the right-hand side. He finds Angulo centrally. Angulo turns. But he put the shot. Wish list. The long, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, you know. Lodato. Bounced it into the belly of St. Clair. Minnesota United also going to the bench with Kevin Arriaga coming on for Robin Lode. Here's Muriel right into the game for Orlando City. Muriel cutting back, flipping it across. Bicycle attempt from Ojeda. He saw his name in lights, but he put it into the stands. Chicago over Columbus in the 83rd minute. Austin over St. Louis. Longwane gets back to his feet. Longwane denied on a kick save by Galese. 
going to have to be pragmatic to close this one out. This time he does try to lay it back, but it's taken away by Ojeda. And here come Orlando City. This is McGuire. McGuire! A brace for Duncan McGuire! A perfect finish! And we're all level in Orlando once again! Sometimes the easiest method is the most efficient. Duncan McGuire just outside the box with it's like 10 minutes to go in this game. Prove that. What a uh -oh, ball. Oh, here comes what a ball. Long one. Minnesota United deep into stoppage time. Bargy Longwane, his first goal of 2024. There was a match winner in this one after all. Watch the unselfish nature of this ball played through in behind the back line. You have been on your heels the entirety of this second half. And yet, the natural born striker who made amends at the tail end of the match against the Columbus crew. Watch how unselfish this is. That's the maturation process of Tani Uluwashi. Last year, lit it up in USL with San Antonio. But a lot of it was in this fashion, going it alone, 1v1 instead, drags runners with him. Mikey Holiday a little bit high, recognizes he's got help. Behind for yet another corner. We're in the 101st minute. And there is the final whistle. Orlando City will not get a chance at another corner.